Hi, I'm Steve Jones and I'm going to tell you about some of the geometrical shapes you might want to use in your mathematics. First of all, geometrical shapes are all fairly well known, so I don't have to explain what these shapes are, but the nature of them, regular, irregular, are very important because when teaching you will need to use, in the main, regular shapes if you go anything above a pentagon. Basically, the triangle is about as simple as you get. You've got the three major types, the equilateral triangle, which is the regular one, isosceles, which is symmetrical, the right angle triangle, which is a special case. After that, when you get up to the larger sided figures, you've got the uh, rectangle and obviously other quadrilaterals, you can have a quadrilateral which actually is not convex but is actually concave so you can have a quadrilateral which is actually of that kind of shape as well. These are very complex shapes and should be dealt with in a very careful way. Pentagons, octagons, hexagons can all have this concave uh, shape and therefore we should tend to use a more regular shape and talk about the angles and the regular nature of these objects. In that way we can show how in fact the larger objects like octagons, hectagons, pentagons are actually just made up of various types of triangle. From a pentagon you can get the various isosceles triangles which make up the pentagon same with the hexagon, octagon, and even the square. All of these made up of triangles. So what it is best to do is to keep your uh, shapes regular. Don't go too high up. Octagon is as far as you need go. And try and make from the larger shapes the smaller ones so that the students get some kind of idea of the relationship between the triangle and the other complex shapes.